Welcome to WMNF 88.5 FM and WMNF.org. You're listening to the Tuesday Cafe. I'm Sean Canan. Well, we have a couple of topics on today's show. Later on, we're going to bring on WMNF's general manager, Randy Zimmerman, so she can introduce a powerful interview she did with a Ukrainian culture scholar about how the war is impacting the ancient art of Ukraine and why it's important to study cultural icons. So I hope you stay tuned for that. First up on the show, we're going to learn about opportunities that some people have right now to enroll in Obamacare during the ACA's special enrollment period. And joining us live by Zoom this morning is Katie Roders turner Executive Director of the Family Healthcare Foundation. Welcome back to WMNF's Tuesday Cafe, Katie. Sean, thank you so much for having me. We truly appreciate the opportunity. I'm glad you were able to come on today. So tell us, what is the Affordable Care Act special enrollment period that's going on now and who is eligible? Absolutely. So um, the special enrollment periods that are available on the health insurance marketplace, there's some of the more common ones like losing coverage, getting married, having a baby, changes in immigration status. All of these major life changes would allow someone to go look at the health insurance marketplace which is the federal government's one-stop shop to apply for subsidies, compare health insurance plans, and enroll in affordable health care coverage. But in major news, there is a brand new special enrollment period. And this is for individuals and families earning between 100 to 150 percent of the federal poverty level. So for example, a single individual earning between $1,000 to $1,600 per month could enroll in coverage at any point within the year. If they currently have a plan, they could even change that coverage. And this is a pretty landmark change that allows people more opportunities to enroll in healthcare coverage. I wanna remind people that we're speaking with Katie Roders turner Executive Director of the Family Healthcare Foundation here on 88.5 FM. This is the Tuesday Cafe. And we're talking about Obamacare and who's eligible to enroll now, even if you didn't enroll in the in the enrollment period back a few months ago, there are some cases that allow you to enroll right now. So Katie, what kinds of coverage are there available under the Affordable Care Act? So frequently for many people, they can find free premiums available on the marketplace. Um, There are seven different insurance carriers uh, that are available within Tampa Bay. Um, People are able to go to healthcare.gov, fill out an application. They also have the opportunity to use a window shopping tool to see what the plan prices might look like. And at any point, regardless of what someone needs, there are navigators throughout Tampa Bay at the Family Healthcare Foundation or with our partner organizations that provide free expert assistance looking at any of those plan options. How can people get in touch with a navigator? So they are able to call 813-995. 7005 to get connected with the navigator for either phone assistance or to schedule an appointment. They can also go to our website at familyhealthcarefdn.org and they can make an appointment online that way as well. Also, because of COVID-19, a lot of people got coverage under Medicaid in Florida that might not have gotten it otherwise. And so some of that funding is running out. What Remind people what there was available during COVID-19 and how that might be changing. Absolutely. So in March 2020, the federal agency, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, temporarily waived certain Medicaid and children's health insurance program requirements and conditions. And it was an effort to help make sure that people didn't lose their health insurance or health care coverage during a pandemic. So now some states will need to restart that process. And people will may get letters in the mail asking them to reapply for Medicaid. As a result, they may lose their Medicaid because they are no longer eligible for it due to changes in income or household size. So the concern is that a large number of people, especially children, may lose Medicaid coverage and be without health care coverage. However, there's a lot of ways we could get in front of this. Um, Making sure that people are aware of other options like that would create a special enrollment to get into the marketplace or they could look at Florida Kid Care for health insurance coverage for their kids. In preparation as well, we're really encouraging people to make sure that their contact information is up to date with the Medicaid agency and to be looking for any letters that might be coming, asking them to renew coverage. How can you make sure that your um, your address and so forth is up to date? Where do you, is there a website that you can go to to check to see what they have on file? 
Absolutely. So frequently people have what's called a My Access account where they would be able to log in, update con contact information through that portal. Um, they are also able to call um, the state Medicaid office to verify that information as well. Um, we are able to assist with both of those things if people are having a hard time understanding which way to go, which we can completely understand. Um, but there is a way to verify that through that online portal too. I want to remind people that you're listening to Tuesday Cafe on WMNF. I'm Sean Canan. My guest is Katie Roders Turner, Executive Director of the Family Health Care Foundation. We're talking about how you can enroll in Obamacare. Even though it's not open enrollment right now, there are there is a special enrollment period. As she was saying earlier, that if you've had any life changes, in most cases you can enroll, but there's also a special uh, enrollment period for people who are eligible right now with 100 to 150% of the federal poverty letter, federal poverty level, it's easy for me to say. <laughs> <laughs> so Katie, um, Florida is one of the states that has not expanded Medicaid eligibility. So how does that fact impact all of this? Well, so in addition to helping people look for options that they may be eligible for outside of um, people who are on Medicaid, we encourage people to look for their local county programs as well. Thankfully, I am I'm physically right now located in Hillsborough County. We have a phenomenal Hillsborough County healthcare plan, um, which offers really comprehensive healthcare services. So if someone is in what we call the Medicaid gap, um, that is a program that we would look to help them with an application to get that type of coverage to ensure they're getting free health care. Um, there's other county programs as well in Pinellas and Polk County, too, that we could point them towards. Um, but that Medicaid gap component, the lack of Medicaid expansion, generally means that the state of Florida has a higher uninsured population. Um, and that is something that has been true for many years. And when you say Medicaid gap, you're talking about people who are um, are really uh, living in poverty in some cases, or at least close to poverty, and yet still are not eligible for Medicaid. Correct. And then in turn, also then not eligible for those federal subsidies too. Um, frequently though, if people have um, been told that they do not qualify, we're really encouraging everyone to come back and take a second look. Um, perhaps maybe the income information needs to be entered differently to make it populate correctly. Um, a lot of times when people fill out some of these applications for themselves, it can be overwhelming or they're filling it out and then they're getting a lot of calls from people that they weren't expecting. Um, so we as navigators provide free, confidential, one-on-one -on -one assistance to ensure that people are getting the most correct and accurate information as possible and helping to navigate the system because we do understand it's overwhelming. Katie Roders turner is executive director of the Family Health Care Foundation. And you heard the word navigators in there. So um, maybe can you define that or let people know what these na navigators do if, if, for example, you call the Family Health Care Foundation at 813-995-7005 to have a navigator help you through the process. What do those people do? And, um, and uh, is there a charge for that service? Great question. So the Family Health Care Foundation is a nonprofit, and we've been in Tampa Bay for almost 25 years. And our vision is that every person in Tampa Bay has equitable access to affordable, quality health care. We have free and expert navigators and partners in four counties across Tampa Bay to help people find affordable health care options and then help with the steps needed to enroll in that coverage. So when I say navigator, we are federally funded through a grant that's administered through the University of South Florida's College of Public Health to provide these services for free. We are trained annually. We are registered with the state of Florida. We have to be unbiased and we cannot accept payment under any, any, <laughs> any, any instance. Um, and we always have to make sure that we're telling people about every option that they have available to them. And you can again get that service by calling 813-995-7005. What happens if instead of phoning, if you decide to go to healthcare.gov, would you be able to get service there as well? Sure thing. So at healthcare.gov, that's the federal government's platform to apply for coverage, uh, um, apply for coverage, apply for the subsidies, compare the plans side by side. Um, there's also a very nice window shopping tool that's available that wouldn't require the full application, but kind of shows an overview of what's available. Um, there is an option to go to uh, find local help, and that will get you to somebody. Um, there are non-navigator entities on there, 
um, which if that's a good fit for you, then that's great. Um, but for the local navigator programming, we generally try to give out our contact info if you feel that you're in need of that assistance. Again, my guest is Katie Roders Turner, Executive Director of the Family Healthcare Foundation. It's 1016 in the morning, and you're listening to Tuesday Cafe on WMNF. I'm Sean Canan. Katie, let me ask you about this. Last week, President Biden announced steps to protect and strengthen the Affordable Care Act by proposing a rule to fix what is called the family glitch. And that would save hundreds of thousands of families many dollars a month, maybe some, some of them hundreds of dollars a month. So tell us, what is this family glitch and how is it being fixed? So glad you brought this up. This is incredible news. Uh, we were so excited to hear about this. So the family glitch has been a barrier for family members of employees who have access to employer-sponsored insurance. Employer-based employer healthcare coverage is defined as affordable if it meets that criteria for the plan only for the employee. So if a plan for an employee is free, then that is considered affordable. But it doesn't take into consideration the cost to add a dependent, a spouse, or the whole family, which can then drastically become far more expensive. So that family glitch makes family members ineligible for a tax credit on the marketplace, even though they may need it. And it's estimated that this impacts about 5 million people. By fixing the family glitch, family members of, of workers who have unaffordable family coverage could qualify for premium tax credits to purchase marketplace ACA plans. And that could start as soon as January 2023. And so then in that case, these family members would be able to buy essentially the, the gold plans, the, the bronze plans, silver plans that you hear about in the Affordable Care Act's marketplace, and then get health coverage that would be more affordable than joining their family members who is insured through their workplace. Exactly. And it's not even that it's that they would also potentially be eligible for the subsidies to help reduce the cost of that using the income eligibility of the household. So it's pretty exciting and it certainly would open a lot of doors and hopefully makes free up some dollars for families that, you know, that they're using right now to pay for higher insurance premiums. Well, Katie Rogers Turner, executive director of the Family Healthcare Foundation. We've covered a lot in the last 15 minutes. We've talked about the Affordable Care Act special enrollment period and this, this uh, family glitch that's being fixed by the federal government. What else in healthcare news should we, should our listeners know about right now? So it's a lot. We did cover a lot. You're right. It was a tall order. I think by and large, the biggest thing that we're really trying to promote is that if, if you feel like you, you missed out on your opportunity to enroll in coverage, if you didn't understand it, if you, you felt like you, you saw something and it was, too, it was unaffordable, please, please call us 813-995-7005. We would be happy to go through and review all options available to you. Um, we, we do it every day, all darn day. And so I think that um, we would be happy to speak with anyone to help get people access to affordable health care. Well, I want to thank you so much for coming back on WMNF's Tuesday Cafe today, Katie. Thank you so much for having me. Such a great opportunity. Well, thanks for coming on. Katie Roders turner is Executive Director of the Family Health Care Foundation. To speak with an Affordable Care Act navigator, you can call 813-995-7005, or you can find more information on healthcare.gov. I put that phone number and that website on wmnf.org, so you can look there if you missed it. And we'll post a link to the video of this full interview on our website, wmnf.org, later today. Well, I want you to stay with us for, the, in the next few minutes, we're going to hear an interview that our general manager did with the Ukrainian culture scholar about how the war is impacting the ancient art of Ukraine and why it's important to study cultural icons of the past. That's coming up next. And if you want to comment on anything you've heard today, you can email dj at wmnf.org or text 813-433-0885. We'll be right back after this short music break. Here's a little bit of new music from Wet Leg. It's called Supermarket. <laughs> 